What up, Brick Squad? Welcome to the channel. That was so YouTube-y. Stop. Just tell them what we're doing. What up, Brick Squad? Welcome. You just did the same way as the one before. Yo, what up, Brick Squad? <laughs> <laughs> I've been asked multiple times to do cooking videos. I don't do any cooking, except breakfast. My wife, Cammie Glover, she does all the cooking. So today we're gonna cook a healthy turkey burger. Very macro friendly, one of my go-tos. When he wants to eat something healthy and not violate his plan that he's on. This is my go-to, this. This, is, this is our go-to. Before we get into the recipe, I just wanna let you guys know, if you're looking for guidance with nutrition, Go to bricksfitness.com. We make custom meal plans. All the information is in the description below. Go check that out. This is the part where you take over because I don't. Well, I'm going to get you doing stuff. Okay, let's do it. Wow, I love this. Okay. You're in here with me. I am. And we need to take a selfie. Okay. So we're going to take a pack and a half of turkey. Okay. We're using, where are you going? We're using 93% lean, which sometimes we'll use 99 depending on if he's feeling like, no, I need to eat really lean. Um, and sometimes I'll go a little lower than this actually. But this is 93, so we're gonna do a pack and a half. If you're eating for yourself, a pack's fine. It usually makes around three burgers. Um, but I have to feed him also, so he eats about three burgers. Honey mustard, no sugar added ketchup. I always use Mrs. Dash, usually the original one, but you can use anything. Um, Italian seasoning, I usually put anytime I'm use, making anything with ground turkey. This is salt and pepper. And garlic. And actually we're going to put spinach into the turkey because lean ground turkey is really dry. Spinach helps it stay moist. Oh, I hate that word. Mmm, moist. Whoa. This is about two cups of spinach, but sometimes I just grab a handful and toss it in. <laughs> Sometimes I rip it with my hands. I just want to make it a little smaller. I'm just her production assistant right now. No, you're going to um, mix up the turkey. So you may want to take the ring off. Why would I mix the turkey? With your hands. That's how... That's how... But I got lotion on my hands. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Rinse your hands off. All right. You're in here cooking. Rinse your hands off. I need to turn my pan on. To medium. All right, next. Ready? Here, you can start doing this part. Here you go. So you're gonna do? So three tablespoons of honey mustard. I gotta measure that. So three tablespoons of honey mustard. Three of ketchup. You can overfill a little bit, that's okay. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of garlic. Now, if you don't like garlic, you don't have to do this. Usually I'll do, yeah, that's good. Keeping that's good. Okay, I'm gonna keep that tablespoon. I gotta put my hands in there. Yeah, that's how I make it good. You make it with love. Whew. Okay. This is how I make your food every time. I wash my hands, so don't worry. I hope so. You gotta like go like this where it comes out your. Hand. This feels gross. You gotta go like that, so it's good. Like when you're a kid. I see why I only make oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> He'll eat two and I eat one, and then I have leftovers for tomorrow. And a little secret I do is boil on top because it helps keep the moisture in. I'm going to put the Mrs. Dash seasoning on top of the burger so I taste it right when I bite into it. So these little tricks right here are the game changers. That's what separates a good burger from a great burger. Just want to make sure, even if they're done, I always double, triple check. I'm just a little nervous. Ooh, made it. All right, the last two minutes I took the foil off so it finishes cooking through. I wanted to keep the moisture in, but I didn't want it to get too soggy. And then next we're gonna use these sandwich thins or whole wheat. And it's way better if you toast the bun. 
These are done, so I'm gonna turn off the heat. Now, we have, I'm gonna show them. So this is reduced fat Colby Jack. Any kind of reduced fat cheese is really good, depending on well, if you're tracking now, how much fat you can put into your meal. But I love, this is reduced fat feta also. So we'll probably put this on the salad and we'll put some of these right on the burger. Was this cabinet open the whole time? I don't know. <laughs> Also, to go on the burger, we'll put a little bit of spinach for some crunch, and depending, what do you like want tonight? Ketchup or honey mustard? Both. Oh. Stiff. Dang. <laughs> to make the spinach stick. Some honey mustard on the bottom, spinach on top, a little bit of ketchup. I even feel awkward in the kitchen. I know, I can I tell. Feel, like, what do I do with my hands? Put that. Woo! Can we eat right now? Oh, that looks good. So I'm gonna put the macros on the screen for this burger, and now the taste test. Mmm. This is pretty good. This is really good. Mmm. Oh, um, spinach, a little bit of feta, and some Asian pear, and then we put, that's his favorite on there. All the information for this burger is down in the description. Thanks, baby. This is really good. Welcome. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know if you guys want more cooking videos. This is our first time trying this. We probably sucked it up. But I love you guys. And as always, we're just trying to share the wellness. wellness. Right. So get well. And get turkey burgers. <laughs>